So before we get started, I just wanted to let you guys re know really quickly that this is using the latest version. There was an update like 15 days ago to Hard Ops, so this is me using the latest version, just just so we're clear. Alright, let's get started. Hey guys, how's it going? Sleeping Hollow here. and Today we're back. Um, I saw a lot of comments on the Hard Ops video that they want to see you know more features they can do in Hard Ops. So I kind of just want to jump in and just go through a few of the cool th little things you can do with it. I'm not going to go through all of them because there is a bunch. But I just wanted to show you a quick few things that I like to use personally that are just easier, way easier to do on hard ops. So let's get started. So the first thing I like to do is making pipes. Making pipes with hard ops is so much easier. So how do you go about that? So first what we're going to do is we want to create a single vert. Make sure we're in vertex mode so we can select it and move it around. And then let's just extrude it and just do some quick like, you know, from ground to wall pipe, okay? So now we want to add a bevel. And what I've realized real quickly is what, what I want to say is if we hit Q, you can see there's a 2D bevel. We can go ahead and add a bevel to this. And of course, using the mouse wheel, you can select how many we want to add to this bevel. So we'll just do it like that. And for some reason, I've realized it's, this only works if it uh, if it is only two-dimensional. So if, let me just create a new one and show you what I mean. You can see that option is along either because this, this is not two-dimensional. But the same practices still kind of apply. What we can do here is actually select these, hit Control Shift B to bevel, and we can just do that. We can just do it manually, so it's not, it's not you know too difficult. Now what we want to do from here, let me actually just add a few more to this one. What we want to do from here is select it, and from what I've seen, there's no way to do this in the hard ops editor itself. All right, sorry, <laughs> we're gonna make a quick cut right here because. After making the video and all that, I want to check on the update, the actual update video that Master Zeon put out just to make sure I didn't miss anything. And I actually, from there, I learned that there is a smart apply that exists to make a curve really quickly. You, we don't have to go into the queue and create uh, the curve from mesh. So what we're going to do is, I'm going to do exactly what we did in the video just to show you guys. So let's just go ahead and take these from this side of the, or the cube. So we have this 2D flat image. I don't know, edges. I, I'm so tired, guys. <laughs> We're going to go ahead and add 2D bevel. It's right here. Now hold Q again. Let's go to operations. And there's a smart apply right here. And you see right here it says if you left mouse button plus control, it will convert it into a curve already for you. So we're going to do that. And then there you go. It automatically throws us into the, the thickening. The thickening. Jesus. Uh, so we can just go ahead and do that. Oh, nope, that's not what I was trying to do. I was actually trying to smooth it. And there we go. You know, much easier than I even thought it was. So much easier way to go ahead and make pipes or any kind of thing you want to do with curves. You know, from, from a mesh. So it's easier. It's just way easier to do. So let me just actually... So if we go back to our original version, let me just... Do all this nonsense. Alright. So that's gonna this is gonna be our, our pipe right here. So let's go ahead and just add a nice little bevel to all of this. And then if we go operation, smart fly, hold control, mouse click. There we go. Yeah, way easier than I even thought, guys. So it's just you know cutting into this real quickly. That's that's how you want to go ahead and make a pipe. So so much easier. It looks really nice. Boom. That's it. Secondly, it's just how quickly you can use the toolbar on top to just quickly make things. So what I'm going to do is actually make a plane. I'm going to go ahead and bevel this one just once like this. So let's say we have like a kind of plate or something we want to make. So we're just going to, I'm just going to make it a little you know, weird. So let's say this is what we want. Now let's actually enable the toolbar. If we go to view, toolbar settings, and then we go to hard ops. Here we can see there's a whole laundry list of things you can do to this. So first thing we want to do is we want to solidify it. And another cool thing with hard ops, again, we can hit control tilde. And if you don't know what tilde is, it's the button right under escape. You can go into this editor, which obviously gives you access to pretty much everything you need to do with a, you know, an object, a mesh. But another cool thing about this is if we hit control, you see this little dot up here. This one controls the, you know, the um, solidify we did. 
So we can just edit it on here. We don't have to open that at all. And this will apply with everything. So let's say, okay, let's say we're done here. Well, let's add a, ch a chamfer. So we do that, and then if we hit control again, here it is. This was the one for the chamfer, so we can go ahead and edit that. And another another cool thing, <laughs> there's so much, I'm sorry. I'm just going to say cool a lot because, honestly, with hard ops, there's no, there's no short supply of cool things you can do. But if we hold control and then we right-click on one of them, it takes you directly to that one modifier, so we can just change what we want from here. So let's say, you know, angle, weight, whatever we want to do to it, we can do it here. So okay, so that's that's pretty much done for that. So again, we can just, you know, this is all modifiers, non-destructive. So we go to edit mode. Obviously, this is just, you know, it's that same one, um, one face we have. So if we just hit all these, you know, you can see. So completely non-destructive. So let's actually. Look. What I'm going to do is I'm going to bevel this out a little more. And then on top of that, we're going to go ahead and throw out a bevel, another bevel. Let's crank this one down because it seems to be going too hard. So let's bring it up. Okay, hold on. I think I might have used the wrong one. I think this is the one. Okay, yeah. So what we're going to do is we're going to crank this down like that. So now if we look in wireframe mode, you can see I have two bevels pretty much on here. And again, totally non-destructive. We can right-click on this one, change what we need to change with it. But yeah, so, you know, really quick way to start making objects out of just flat faces. No, no, no fuss. All right, next thing that we're going to look at is making a quick making an object follow a curve really quickly so let's say we have this box i'm just going to kind of mess with it a bit so there let's say we want this around a circular curve so what we're going to do is we're going to first array this so let's go ahead and create an array and again hold control you can control how far apart you want them but if you hold control shift then you control how many you want so you can see six five four so pretty fast way to just array things in general but now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and create a curve, a circle, go into edit mode, make it a lot bigger. And then with the circle selected first, hold shift, select this, you know, the object. And we can go up here to this curve modifier. Go ahead and click that. And I can see it's kind of funky right now, but if we go to our hard ops helper right here, we're going to want to go down to the curve. Then we're going to go ahead and pick the X and there we go. And then... We go back to that curve editor. We can, you know, change how many we want, and the distance all from within the viewer. You know, that's that's pretty much it. You know, <laughs> like I said, it's a lot easier. You're not you're not going to be over here. You're just not going to be over here for the most part. If you're modeling, you're just going to stick right here. You're going to be doing everything you need to do. And this applies to you know you can do it a whole. So let's say, and do this. We're going to array in the X, bring it up. I'm about to show you something cool. And then if we go up here and go to this array modifier, by the way, holding shift and left clicking, you get, you know, different axes of where you want it to array. So let's just go ahead and do it in the X and there we go. Now, if we move this one, let's see, we <laughs> just create some weird thing. I don't know, but you can see the power that you have within this is truly, truly mind blowing. Then let's say we want to add a sharpen just for the hell of it. Again, right here on the main one, you can control that. No problem. So I don't know what you maybe this can be a logo or something. I don't know. <laughs> but I'm just I'm just trying to show you guys the cool tools that Hard Ops has to offer. So if you want to do some weird array like that, you can do that. So now how can we apply this to something? So let's say some of these things at least. So let's say I'm this is gonna look pretty sloppy, but let's just say this is you know, because I mostly like to work with guns, let's say this is a, a freaking, you know, a slider for a pistol. Sure, why not? So what we can do is we're gonna go in here, let's just get Q. Okay, let's say this is gonna be, you know, the little cuts. So what we can do from here is we're going to go ahead and array it on the X. So we can do that. Move it this way. Let's get the distance we want. Hold shit so we can add more. Then we can simply click this. 
hold control and then the minus button on the on the number on the number keys. The number pad, I guess is what you want to call it. Uh, actually first before we do that we want to first add a bevel so we can do it here. You know, you can do it here, you can do it up here, wherever you feel comfortable doing it, wherever it works better for you. So we want to do that first, so now when we cut this, it should give us, oh, you know what, I think this might be, let's clean the normals first. So if you do, let me go, actually go back in case you guys ever run into this problem. If you ever see a folding like this, looking all weird, it's because the normals on the mesh are, you know, wrong. And if you want to see what I mean, let's actually turn on our normals, bring them up. So you can see we're not seeing anything. There should be little little blue lines popping up and there we go. We see them inside, which is not the way they should be. They should always be pointing outwards. Shift and there you go. It completely recalculates them. We can see them right here. It just says recalculate normals. If we want them inside, we can do that, but we want them outside. So now when we go back to object mode, there we go. It's nice and clean. And then what we can do from here is we can just simply do a Oh, the mirror isn't showing up as an option. That's kind of weird. But, you know, we usually be down here. But if it's not, again, we can always go to the helper and just do it ourselves, I guess. Either way, it's quicker. So mirror. Want to do it on the Y. There we go. And now something interesting is happening. I do not know. Oh, <laughs> I think I have more than. Yep. That's what it was. There we go. Okay. There we go. We mirrored it over. So we got that nice little slide right there. And of course nothing has changed, it's still the same shape. But yeah, so that's one quick way to add something. Let's say, okay, let's let's mess with this more. Let's go ahead. Let's just put everything we've learned into action. So if this was like some kind of sci-fi gun. Let's say this is good. We're gonna go ahead and add a bevel to these. Then operation smart oh nope wrong wrong smart apply. Gotta hold that control. There we go. Now smooth it. And then we can go ahead and let's go ahead and give that a mirror. One on the Y. There we go. I don't know what kind of gun this would be, but <laughs> what kind of pistol this would be, but that's how you can do it. Now we can go here. Let's actually add an array. At this point, I'm just messing around with this, guys. I... No, that's why would I? And again, we're not because we're not using the actual. You know, these up here. It's not going to show show the options. But we can go ahead and just mess with this now. Sure, why not? Okay, there we go. There's there's a slider. Some weird concoction we just invented. But anyways, sorry, this last part you don't have to watch. is just showing you how I kind of put some of these tools to use. Uh, but that's about that's about it for this video. You know, again, this is just a small fraction of what you can do. Everything, again, it's just... It's basically... Hard Ops is basically taking what you can do in Blender and just cutting the time more than half, I would say. It's just making everything so much easier. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this little this little dive into some of the tools I like to use and how you go about using them. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.